All right, guys, well, I'm back today with a really interesting and brand new thermal monocular from Tesselong. And if you follow the channel, you'll know that Tesselong helps out and sponsors the channel occasionally. And they picked up another ad spot. When they sent over the thermal monocular that they wanted me to talk about, I fell in love with it and knew I could not do it justice in just an ad spot. I personally wanted to do a full overview because I think this is an amazing high value option with a lot of nice features that can get you guys into a thermal monocular at an affordable price. So I personally decided to do a full review on this guy. Now, with that being said, the price point of thermal is always very high. A lot of times you'll find thermal well over $1,000 to $2,000 for just a monocular and on up for like a full thermal scope. Now, this one is generally selling for $8.99. They're on sale for $6.99, which brings them into the more affordable price point, but not necessarily the cheapest version of night vision. This, though, is pretty slick because since it only detects heat, it doesn't need any ambient light or an IR signature to work, so you can be completely stealthy and only pick up heat. This one also detects heat out to a thousand yards, but it does have a recognition distance where you can sort of make things out at about 266 yards, making this perfect for varmint hog hunting at night, coyote hunting at night, really detecting and finding different things. This also works great as an inspection tool for a wide variety of engineering applications. If you're a heating and air expert and you wanna determine where heat or cool is escaping from a building, this also works for furnace design and different things like that. Now that may be a little bit far out of the wheelhouse for this channel, but I did wanna bring that up. The mode operation is incredibly simple and you can see how small it is and it comes with a nice case. You flip down the front, you'll turn the device on by hitting the power button. Once it comes on, it will click up and it's gonna be hard to make out on this camera. But once you do that, you can actually take photos with this and it saves them to a built-in SD card that comes with it, although this does not take video. That's one improvement I would like to see, but that's just me personally because I like to record different things for YouTube, but a lot of guys might like to record their hunts, but this does a great job of that. It also has a color palette button where you can switch from an iron oxide red hot to a red hot to a black hot to a white hot and to a green hot. I'll show you guys some images I took at different yardages. I enlisted my uh, kids and my niece to go out into a field and kind of stand out in the yard and I took some photos. So you'll be able to tell a little bit more about how this works in a second, but I did want to finish up the overview of the specs and features. It also has a digital zoom. I don't really recommend that. It kind of gets pixelated and blurry after a certain point, but it is there in case you wanted to zoom in. You can also go to their website and look up their exact specs and features for their field of view refresh rates and all of the different uh, specs and features about the lcd screen they're used but for a 699 monocular this thing is really awesome it's also weather resistant and fairly lightweight and one of the other cool things about this is it's got a 20 hour battery life a working battery life of 20 hours so you don't have to worry about an all night long hunt um, and surveillance uh, setting up on the land somewhere, it's gonna work out great. It also has a mount for a tripod, so you can mount this to a tripod, and so you can just walk up to it and kind of scope out. It also has a manual focus on the side located right here, which works out pretty well. And you'll really need to use this um, if you're transitioning from like 25 yards to 200 yards, but you don't need to play with this much if you're gonna be kind of staying in the same distance. You really don't adjust the focus with uh, just a 50 yard difference, it all comes in pretty nicely. It's very comfortable and the eye cup does block out that radiant light going to your eye, again, to be a little bit more stealthy. And everything has been working great about this. It's still in the original charge and I've been using it for about a week now in preparation for this video. So that's pretty much all the specs and features of this guy in a nutshell. Oh, and the one thing I did forget is it does have a built-in green laser on the top. Um, since this only senses heat, you cannot see the green laser through the monocular. I believe this is more for an inspection tool for heat coming out of buildings or furnace design, um, things like that. That's going to allow you to do that. This also would allow you to use this as a spotting scope um, at night. So you could potentially turn on that green laser and I'll show you guys real quick just so you can get an understanding of what I'm talking about. We'll have to turn the device back on. But say you spot a hog or a coyote in the field and someone else is with you with night vision, but maybe it's a night vision with like 5X magnification and they're having trouble finding the exact location. Well, you could flash up that green laser as you see here on your target. They could go to the uh, green laser 
pick it up with their night vision and engage the target that way. Or if they're hunting with basic white light, I mean, making sure you're following all your applicable laws, but most varmint hunting allows you to hunt with white light and night vision in my state. Uh, you could pick it up with white light and then take your shots right there. So that is a good option, um, but I don't use the green laser a ton, but at least it's there. Now let's cut over to some of these images and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I've enlisted my kids and niece to go out into the yard and stand at different distances. This first one is 25 yards, and granted, they're only about seven or eight years old to kind of give you guys an estimate of their size, but it picks up the subtle details really well, and you can see the different color palettes. Then they moved out to about 50 yards at the woods line, and you can definitely pick them up with that red hot, the white hot, as well as the black hot, as you'll see in a second. Everything works out really well. They also have those other gradients with the more green and pinkish hues, but you can see how well this works even out to 50 yards. Now we've pushed them back to 100 yards and they're near a swing set, just two of them this time, but you can still make them out clearly, especially with this pink kind of purple color palette, as well as the red hot color palette. So you can really shift that color palette for specific things you're looking for and it works out great. It also works good on man-made objects. This is my side-by-side -side at 10 yards. And this was after it kind of cooled down a little bit after driving, but you can see how you can just get a ton of detail out of this monocular. So you guys can see how well it worked out to 100 yards, and I did do some viewing at 200 yards, and you still can make out a lot of subtle detail. But it's always nice to have an actual Gen 3 night vision device or digital night vision device for identification because thermal always does leave a little bit to be desired at distance identifications. It's gonna be pretty hard to tell the difference between a dog and a coyote, but with actual night vision itself, you can make those determinations. But it's got a lot of positives. Again, no IR signature to worry about. About. It's compact, long battery life, the photo function. This is an impressive night vision monocular that I think would be great to add to your collection for a wide variety of applications. And I hope this gives you uh, a general overview of this test long monocular. I'm super glad they sent it out to the channel. I appreciate them. And I just really like this product. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.